Hey, YouTubians, Gary, VW Jawbreaker, remember me? Welcome back to the videos. Today, got a very exciting video for you. We're gonna start talking about the new engine for Jawbreaker. Nice little budget spare parts build, if you will. So if you're not familiar, let me bring you up to speed. Jawbreaker was the original vehicle that kind of helped launch this YouTube channel many years ago. I've been doing this for, I think since 2017. It's now 2024. Where's time gone? Anyway, so that's been a great car. And then I found the 60 and built that into what we have today. So originally Jawbreaker came with a little mystery engine in it. You know, we ran that for a while. Then I built a nice little 1641 dual carb C35 cam, but basically a stock heads 1641 with a small cam and dual Weber's. It was nice, but then the engine case got a crack. Guess that's what happens. So we pulled it down, built a 1915 for it, had an issue, things happen. And then we built the 2054. A few months after building the 2054 is when I found the 60. And that's when the crazy vision came into play. And I went, ha, that motor is going into the 60. So in order to get the 60 on the road, we had to pull the motor and I went ahead and pulled the seats and a few other things out of Jawbreaker to get the 60 on the road. So that's where Jawbreaker's engine has been for a year now. That's really sad to say that Jawbreaker has been sitting a year, but life happens, right? So what do we need to do to get Jawbreaker on the road? It needs some love. It needs some, uh, a few things and we'll get into that. We're going to take care of that here in the garage. But before I put the car in a garage, and I mean, it's just a small two car garage. Everybody thinks I have a shop. No, I work out of my house. Uh, this is a, this is fun for me, right? This is not my job. I'm not a YouTuber for a career. Not this small of a channel, are you kidding me? Since I have some room, and yes, we're starting to pack my daughter up for college. Since we have some room, I wanna go ahead and get the engine stand in here and get the engine built first. Then we can pull the car around drop the engine in it, then it'll be easier to move the car around. So that's what we're gonna do. So today, we're gonna talk about the engine. Let's dive into this. I'm excited for this. So here we go. We've got some parts laid out here. I do have some more on hand, but this is gonna be kind of exciting. The reason I say that is we're gonna do this build step by step, if you will. I'm gonna put it in its own playlist and we're using basically mostly used parts. It's gonna be some new parts, like I'm waiting on a shipment from AA right now. So we're gonna get new bearings, new pushrod tubes, um, a new chromoly gland nut, you know, things like that. So, I mean, we're not spending a whole lot of money here. It's not like we're spending $1,500 or $5,000. We're spending minimal money. And I do want to at least put new bearings in this. That and all the miscellaneous parts of uh, bearings I have, I can't find any of the fit. We'll start off with a case. Case is a actually a type three universal case. And the reason I say that is if you notice, we don't do not have a dipstick tube. You've got your port down here. That would normally go to your filler and come up. So this could be like a type two or type three replacement case. It's drilled for the mustache bar. This case is actually an excellent case. It's standard bore on the line bore, standard thrust. So this thing's never been cut and I had a machinist buddy of mine that, that you know works on these cases and stuff, actually check it out. We swapped cases. I gave him one, he gave me this one. He goes, this one's immaculate. And we'll go through that when the time comes. So what do I do about the dip dipstick tube? They actually make an adapter that bolts onto here and comes up so you can run a regular, regular dipstick in it so you don't have to do anything fancy. It's like $12. Oh yeah, that's coming from AA Performance as well. We have a case. We have used piston cylinders these are 87 millimeters so this would make it a 1641 these are the original ones that came out of jawbreaker's old 1641 engine pretty cool we're gonna let them move on got a set of stock rods here that mic out good we have a stock cam yes i said that we're running a stock cam in this i'll tell you why later now for the crank <laughs> this may look like a stock crank but if you notice right here see how that's offset this is a stock cast crank that has been balanced. Right there, you see the little divots. This is actually a 74 millimeter stroke crank, eight dialed. Balanced 
cast crank. Now the cast crank will be fine. We're not spinning at high RPMs. This is not going to be a, a, a 25 bajillion RPM engine, right? This is going to be a, you know, 4,500 RPM tops engine. This is a stock cam. We're not getting a ton of RPMs out of a stock cam. Basically, 1641 would be with a 69 millimeter stroke stock crank, but since we have a 74 millimeter sto stroke crank, it's going to make it a 1760 cc stock cam, stock heads. Just imagine heads here. Boop, boop. They're not here yet. I got to pick them up from the person that uh, owes me the set of heads. So it'd be stock heads, 1641, 87 millimeter jugs and pistons, and a 74 millimeter stroke crank instead of a 69. So a 1760 cc little mini stroker and that's pretty much the reason we're doing stock cam is i want to run a single carburetor on this so if my wife wants to jump in it and run single carburetor choke it's easy my son wants to take it for a drive single carburetor choke easy if something happens a lot less issues to try to diagnose on the side of the road that's kind of the gist of it um what we plan on doing is actually going through this step by step like i said and we're going to make a playlist so first off we're going to prep the case full flow the case there's a couple of mods i like to do on the on, on all engine cases for uh oiling and things like that no we're not doing hoover mods but there's a couple little things i like to do so we'll go over that we'll also check to see how much we need to clearance inside the case for the stroker crank should be minimal but with stock rods you do have to clearance a little bit more than if you had a nice set of uh like i-beam rods or something like that so we'll dive into that we'll do all the case prep in one video and then once we get that done then we'll go into you know mock up we'll go ahead and drop things in see how things are go ahead and put a connecting rod on and then put a piston cylinder in it and see what kind of deck height or negative deck height we have we'll figure out compression ratio we'll go through and do the whole thing start to finish i know there's been several people reaching out hey if you still need parts let us know i really appreciate that it's because of you guys that uh this is going to happen i really don't have the money i mean there was a couple of really nice generous donations thank you very much that's how we're able to move forward you know, there's a guy, you know, I don't know, not too far from me who's got some odd and end parts. So thanks to him for stepping up. I appreciate that. And there's the other guy that I mentioned in the last video that uh, is close-ish, like eight, ten hours. I don't know. That is donating some tins and things like that. So I, I, I really feel honored that you guys want to help. It makes me feel special. It really does. And humbled. So I'm really looking forward to this little spare parts engine build i think it's going to be a lot of fun um will it work i don't see why it wouldn't biggest issue is going to be really clearancing the case which should be minimal and then there's going to be setting the compression ratio and rocker arm geometry and then getting the tins to fit properly other than that it's just a standard engine build i had somebody ask me recently hey man you know i i only build stock engines i want to do a stroker what's the difference not much stroke of the crank i mean there's really not a whole lot of difference as long as you've got room inside for everything to rotate it's the same thing you're still setting compression ratio you're still setting rocker arm geometry you're still doing all the same stuff just have a different crank instead of stock so let's talk about the heads real quick the heads are just a stock set of dual port aftermarket heads they're nothing fancy stock valve stock everything um I had a set of heads here for this build. However, there was a kid, I say kid, he was like senior in high school, freshman in college, something like that, um, here local-ish, and he kept having problems with a set of heads on his 69 Beetle. That was his daily driver, and he started getting real frustrated. So I told him, listen, come pick up the heads I have for Jawbreaker's engine, run these. You know, they've been reworked, heavy duty valve springs, you know, chromoly keepers or whatever they were. I mean, all the, all the nice stuff already in them. And these were mint heads. I said, come pick these up and just get back on the road. I didn't want any money for them. I told them just whenever, give me the heads you have. We'll just switch. So that's where I'm just waiting on those to come here. This was over a year ago or so. It's been a while, but I haven't needed the heads, so I no big deal. It's, you know, I get them whenever. They're good quality people, not worried about it. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take those heads, go through them, rework them, 
and that'll be for this engine. So technically I had heads, had heads, but lent them out, um, just waiting to get the others back. So again, stock heads, crank, stock, stroker, crank. I, I don't know, I'm excited. I, I, I'm just really excited for this build. I think it's gonna be a lot of fun. I think it's gonna go together reasonably well, and I think it's gonna run fantastic. Again, little stock single car, probably like a 34 pick three or something. Depends on what I can get my hands on, because I don't have that. I have an intake though. If you've made it this far in the video, thank you for being here. Do me a favor, drop down in the comments below. Let me know you made it this far. Say mini stroker. It's what this is. It's a mini stroker. It's a 74 by 87, 1760 CC. <laughs> I'm excited for this. I think it's going to be a lot of fun. I think it's going to go to rather, go together pretty well and uh, you'll be along for the ride. So we'll be able to do this together and hopefully take out some of those questions that you guys may have that you, I, I get asked quite a bit. So the next time be kind, and we'll catch you on the next video. Oh, and by the way, a couple weeks out from doing this case video. So hopefully in a couple weeks that video will be out. Be good. <laughs> wow, English? Is that my first language? I, uh, I, what the heck? So I, I sound like the guy from Evan Almighty. <laughs>